Here we go. Kasper Zak in red. Is this the moment where he takes a silver medal? A win for him, and he will take it. Pedersen off gate two in blue. Troy Batchelor gate three in white. And Chris Harris off the outside. Pedersen, of course, off gate number two in blue. Desperate for points to give him a real chance of a bronze medal, which would be a fine achievement in a year where he's been affected by injury, as has Hancock, the new champion, Wolfenden, the outgoing champion, and Kasper Zakir, who's going for silver. This is heat number 18. And away from the start, Kasper Zak has made a good one off gate number one. Now the battle on the back sees Harris switch up the inside. Bachelor comes through, and Pedersen's at the back right now. But Christoph Kasper Zak looking good here. Don't ride off Pedersen. He's going to come back for more. Charges up the inside oh. and doesn't leave any room at all. No, not at all. Hard move from Pedersen to get himself from last to second. Harris now coming back at him. Kasper Zak out in front. That's good news for him. Three points will see him through to the silver medal. How? Harris has worked brilliantly to get into second place, to get the better of Pedersen. Brilliant speedway. I think Chris Harris is slightly wound up here. <laughs> Heat number 18, Christoph Kasperzak, though, now he'll be in on the silver medal in the 2014 World Speedway Championship. He's got one lap to go. He missed a round in Tampere in Finland back in May. He was in the title hunt. He's going to make do with silver. It's a fantastic achievement. Christoph Kasperzak is now officially world number two. Brilliant speed back from Kasper Zak, lost his confidence midway through the series, has bounced back, found form, he's been so consistent, making finals all the time, and fully deserves to celebrate. It's been an outstanding season for the Polish national champion, of course, and now world number two.